What's up guys, this is Ben Bond and welcome to another really quick behind the scenes. So most of you know that I use the X-T2 and I'm currently using the X-T3. A lot of people are asking me that what happened. Well, what happened was that I sold my X-T2 and I bought the X-T3. So when the X-T3 came out, a friend of mine suggested that why don't I sell my X-T2 to him and then buy the X-T3. I thought about it. I didn't really think I need the XT3 because whether XT2 or XT3, I still take awesome photos. So, <laughs> but then I thought about it and um, I sold it to him and bought the XT3. The XT3 is an improvement of the XT2. In terms of autofocus, in terms of camera performance, it's quite faster and also the video capabilities. So, the Fujifilm XT3 can shoot hybrid log gamma. Simply put, it makes grading easier. As some of you can see, I've started experimenting videos and trying to grade it myself, learning how to grade my videos like the way I grade my, my photos. And it's actually working out. So when I sold my X-T2 to my friend, I sold it along with the Fujifilm. 18 to 55 that's the kit lens and i really love that lens so then i had to buy another one for my xt3 so this shoot is a non hss shoot non high speed sync shoot this means that the only way to control my ambience is by using my iso and my aperture and in this shoot i don't need noise in my photos so then i try to keep my iso at the lowest i think i shot at one I saw 160. The rest was done by controlling my aperture. So I shot at from f9 to between f9 to f16, whichever works for me, whichever gives me the mood that I want. And uh, this is the kind of shoot I was doing way before high speed scene came in. Most of the time, it was just you using your aperture to control the ambience because you were limited on your shutter speed. The highest it could go was one two hundred of a second. In terms of lighting, I use the Godox AD six hundred BM with the Selenz sixty five centimeter beauty dish. I wanted to use a bigger modifier, but with the location that I was shooting, it was at the beach and the wind is quite strong over there. So taking along by one twenty centimeter would have been a problem. The wind could could damage my modifier so then i use a smaller modifier which the wind doesn't have much effect on it so let's quickly go and see the behind the scenes and the results i was able to get with no high speed sync <laughs>